Now is the period when it is important to keep the tomato, pepper and cucumber plants healthy because we are expecting fruits for harvest soon. Frequent weather changes accompanied by rainy and sunny periods, as well as sudden temperature changes, have a bad effect because they encourage the development of fungal diseases on plants. Tomato blight and other diseases can reduce yields or completely destroy plants. We have to protect them by regular spraying. I do not use chemical fungicides, but only natural preparations. This protection will not affect the possibility of consuming the fruits even in the fruiting phase, which is a great advantage. Milk helps fight pathogens, fungi, and even some insects that cannot digest lactose. I prepare the milk preparation by pouring one liter of milk into nine liters of water for preventive spraying. If the plants are already diseased, then a stronger concentration is used. After treating the plants with milk, a thin protective layer is created on them, which protects against the penetration of pathogens. Although store-bought cow's milk is usable for this purpose, raw milk, that is, milk that has not been thermally processed, gives the best results. Not only does milk have a protective role, it is also a kind of supplement. I thoroughly treat tomato plants with milk. I also sprinkle milk on the cucumbers, whose leaves have already been eaten by some insects, so we will see if the milk will help. I also spray potato leaves with milk to protect them from blight. The longer leaves stay healthy, the bigger potato tubers will be. Spraying the pepper with milk will help the young plants to grow stronger and grow quite healthy. You can treat with milk several times during the season, and between every two sprayings with milk, you can spray with baking soda. During the fruiting phase, spraying with chemical preparations is out of the question, and the plants are still susceptible to disease. It is a very critical period, then baking soda is a lifesaver. You can freely spray and eat the fruits at any time. The preparation is prepared by dissolving 50 G of baking soda and mixing it with 10 L of water. Baking soda is excellent against various fungal diseases. Spray for seven days alternately with baking soda or milk. How does baking soda work? Baking soda creates a protective film on the surface of plants, which increases the pH value and thus prevents the germination of fungal spores. It is used to protect vegetables, fruits and flowers from diseases such as blight, powdery mildew and leaf spot. I regularly use baking soda to spray tomatoes as well as other vegetables I grow. It can drive away some pests like snails for example. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.